Hi everyone, so I'm Cynthia Cowie and I am the person that creates all the content for the School Choice San Diego Instagram. Um, this is for uh, Californians for School Choice and then the uh, California School Choice Foundation. So um, I'm the person that does the Instagram for the San Diego chapter and county in particular. Um, we have a lot of different county chapters across uh, because this is a statewide initiative. Um, so I'm going to just be doing a little walkthrough, um, a little bit of a reminder about our ballot initiative uh, because the deadline is coming up. So I wanted to be able to show my face about and, you know, just really kind of give like a breakdown about what the ballot initiative is. So that way we can share this video everywhere and do the final push uh, for the signature gathering. Uh, so just to kind of take it a step back, what exactly is school choice? Well, the best way I could really describe it to people who, you know, aren't into public policy or politics at all, it's a very non-partisan um, initiative in a sense of like, you know, it impacts your education, it impacts children, it impacts families. Um, so it's a very non-polarizing discussion and topic, you know, to talk with different people uh, because, you know, my whole case is, you know, for people that aren't into politics or, you know, maybe themselves might not have families or kids or wonder, my pitch to them is basically... Even if you're not someone that is invested in the fight, I advocate that you should be. Um, two biggest reasons being is um, I just feel in general, I think I believe the best in people. And, you know, when you think of others before yourself and you think about how the world can be better, I just think the altruistic mindset and motivation is to, you know, impact the next upcoming leaders and generations to come. So I think that's one reason. And then the second reason that's more of like a practical reason is more of regardless if these children in the education systems are your children or not, um, it would behoove you to reconsider and, you know, take it upon yourself to care. Um, reason being is when children are in these education systems and in schools, um, basically if they're not on the right track, they're gonna be, you know, members of society. So if they're on the good tracks for education, um, obviously they're gonna be a great net positive for society and you will have positive interactions with these future leaders and you won't have anything to worry. On the flip side, if they are brought up in education systems and aren't good for them, um, then they can be a net negative for society. So for example, there's a lot of statistics that show that if children are in failing government schools, um, that correlates to these children growing up and growing up to be criminals. So those are my two big reasons why, you know, we should care about school choice, why we should care about, you know, funding students over school systems and why we should be putting families over institutions. Um, it does impact you, whether you're into politics, whether you're into public policy, or whether you feel you have a dog in this fight or not, as far as, you know, being able to, you know, put money into the hands of parents and having that money follow the child and the student. So the California School Choice Foundation, and um, they started this initiative a few years ago, um, and it was inspired by a state senator and legislature in California that, you know, wanted to pass this bill. And what this bill basically entails is basically unlocking the state funds that Prop 98 has. So you all can definitely look up what that is. Uh, but basically, to kind of do a Reader's Digest version, um, what it is is basically the state has allocated a certain amount of money for every child in the state of California. And right now where that money goes, it basically goes into government schools. When I say government schools, I'm referring to public schools. So right now, based off of the Prop 98 funds, right now, with all things considered, with taxes, things of that nature, it varies from year to year. But right now, at this juncture, it's at $14,000 a year. So what this ballot initiative is for Californians for School Choice is our goal is to basically unlock those funds of that $14,000 a year that goes to, that's allocated for each child in the state of California that goes to public schools, um, is to basically have that money follow the child. So basically, it would allocate a 
a savings account in particular the term is called the education savings account and what that would entail is basically if a child wants to leave the government school and choose to go to a private school a parochial school um, a charter school basically any chance where the child can would basically benefit from that fourteen thousand dollars a year um that is basically you know, the purpose of the ballot initiative is to basically, instead of the government having, you know, a say in children's education, basically, it gives an area of opportunity for families and parents to have choices. Um, Now, there's a lot of different elements if you choose to homeschool, because I understand that homeschooling, it can be a little bit, it's a very convoluted and a very you know, interesting topic because there's a lot of variations with homeschooling families. Um, I know there's a lot of reasons why families choose to homeschool, whether it be personal, religious, political, um, you know, just a lot of different career vocational decisions on the family. And there's a lot of variations. Um, I know there's a lot of different curriculums. There's options for homeschool where you have government um, schooling, where you meet at different charter schools. And then there's also where you basically fund your own school where the family basically makes their own decisions and they basically have their own school where, you know, they're the sole teacher and they don't have any kind of government intervention at all. Um, So basically, if you are in those categories of homeschooling families, this ballot initiative is definitely for you. Um, In the writing of of the actual proposition in the ballot initiative, we wanted to make sure that we included that in the language of the bill. Um, We also do have different language of the bill retaining to critical race theory and um, medical mandates. Um, So basically all the details of the bill, we, the authors and the proponents of it really took a lot of care and detail into just making sure that this bill is pretty solid proof. Um, And basically the intent of the ballot initiative is we wanted to we wanted to make sure that it benefited every single child in California, no matter what the family's decisions are or whatnot. Um, basically, the intent of the bill is to do just that. Um, basically, California is 49th in the country as far as education outcomes. Most children are not reading or doing math at grade level. So basically, the best way to do that in my personal opinion, I mean, outside of like the ballot initiative is school choice. The best way to improve government schools and public schools is to basically improve competition. Um, Because basically, if those systems know that the family has the leverage and the ability to basically take those funds that the government has that's allocated for the child and belongs in the hands of the parents and following the child, then that in itself is an area of opportunity for the school systems um, to basically improve their curriculum, whether that be, you know, allocating or stewarding their funds in their schools better, paying teachers better, um, improving on different things to make sure that they put the needs of the children first. Um, So that's basically the ballot initiative in a nutshell. Um, This is what the actual petition looks like. So if you, you know, took a look at it, it fits six signatures. And basically, it has the entire initiative. So if you were to have it in hand, you before you choose to sign it, you actually would have the chance to be able to read the entire initiative um, basically for yourself. So you can kind of highlight, you can kind of make notes on it or things of that nature. Um, so I did want to, you know, give an update on that. Now, basically how this is a huge grassroots initiative. So before how we were doing it was you would kind of have to be, you know, out and about. We had a lot of volunteers. I myself a volunteer, you know, be at different events or at different grocery stores, at different parks and out in public. Um, but recently, a few weeks ago, um, the foundation and the coalition, they had, they were able to get the ability to upload the petition on the actual website, which is californiaschoolchoice.org. So now you don't have to be on public. You can actually print out the petition in the comfort of your own home, and then you can mail it out yourself. Um, so basically, 
So for the deadline for the state, we are coming up on the deadline, which is why I wanted to give like a reader digest version of the bill, give some progress of the bill so that way we can really give a final push to really ensure we can make this across the finish line. Um, so the deadline for this day is April 11th. However, um, we are trying to finalize everything within the next two weeks um, by April 1st, March 31st, uh, because that being said, at the end, whether you choose to print it or whether you sign it um, on the volunteers ourselves, we basically need to organize all the signatures, make sure that it's verified. Um, so we're kind of giving that buffer so that way we can just make sure everything's in order before the deadline that the state gave us. Um, so that's a little bit about like the update of what the bill exactly is and you know where we're at in the process and a little bit about what school choice is and what you know, what it really means to fund students over school systems and putting families over institutions. Um, so I know that there's some people watching live here. So if anyone has any questions, I'd be happy to, you know, take a couple minutes to answer any. Um, but on my end, I think that's everything that I wanted to share really quickly. So I think there isn't any questions at the moment. Um, so the DMs for this Instagram is available and pretty responsive on here. Um, and then, you know, on top of that, we also do have our email address. So you can actually contact our county chair, um, which is Todd Madison. He's a great individual and he's usually very on top. Actually, he's always on top of all of his emails. So if you have like any questions for him in particular, um, his email address for the county is San Diego at C A S C H dot com. So if you want to contact Todd Madison, the email for his county chair email is San Diego at C A S C F dot com. Um, and then the website is California school choice dot org. Um, but other than that, I appreciate you all tuning in. Just wanted to give an update about the initiative. Um, the deadline's coming up in a couple of weeks as far as getting all the signatures and getting it verified. So just wanted to cop in, give a little update and, you know, share a little bit about the initiatives. So that way you can share this with your loved ones. So thank you all for tuning in and have a great rest of your day.